Hey guys, Bottom Roger here, we're back with more Trials of Banna. Last time we found our way to the Dwarf Village, and in this episode we're chasing Watts through a cave. Because he has the Nitromite to sell us. But before we get started, I want to spend the training points from our level ups. Um, I'll start with Kevin. So I'm just going to put them all. Uh, two of them anyway into stamina. I'm not gonna equip that. And then Angela, we are also going to go into stamina. Because I want to get her up to four so that she can learn diamond shards when we get gnome. As for Hawkeye, it was a tough decision. I do want that luck plus five. I want that strength plus five. And like, I'm kind of wanting this victory CS boost as well. But I think for now, the important thing is gonna be that strength plus five. So that's what we're gonna go with. And we are going to continue onward. Let me consult the map here to see where I needed to go. Looks like I wanted to go on the upper split branch path here. What is this? Just I can't go in there. Interesting. Alright. I got some bad news. More goblins to fight. Anyone got a light? It's getting a little bit weird for me swapping back and forth between this and Secret of Mana like I have been. It's really highlighting the jank in the SNES games. Dark vision thanks to my blood. Don't worry. Alright. Is there anything up here? Looks like there's stuff down there, and then that pathway leads back up. I don't want to go down there. Yeah, we're, we're going down. You wish you'd never cross paths with us. <laughs> well, you know what? Any last words? Don't think so. We're gonna use our tech on you. <laughs> Too bad. I love how the AI actually uses magic on its own. This should do it. I do not like how I'm taking a ton of damage. We're getting too good for these guys. That was probably a waste of a candy, all things considered. Because, like, I literally just left a gold statue. <laughs> Definitely seem to work better to gang up on one enemy than it does to fight enemies separately. At least at this juncture. Go ahead and examine that statue again just for the heal. Might as well take out the Batmo first, it's so easy to kill. Actually, these are all kind of getting easy Not too to kill. bad, if I do say so myself. And that's a good thing. I need some easy fights. So they're taking a ton of damage up from here. Enemy can't wombo combo me the way I have been wombo comboing them. Dark vision thanks to my blood. Don't worry. Another couple wishes. They really do like to hand those out. Um. Okay, 
Okay. Where is the path forward? Uh, looks like it's down below, actually. Sure is. I do love the way this place looks. Alright, let's head through here. Hmm. Where'd this hole come from? Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Did you hear that? I ain't gonna stick around. <laughs> Later. Oh, this is the biggest mole I've ever seen. <laughs> I can tell you. Let's get this thing back in its nest before we become its lunch. <laughs> and we got. It. A giant ant leader known as the Jewel Eater. Not bad. So I guess first things first, I should blow my uh, text on it. Um, probably not the best time to bust out a candy. You definitely don't want to be in the way of that. Probably shouldn't have busted all those pots all at once. Okay. I mean, every 3D game seems to have wonky physics. So I'm not gonna hold that against it. Definitely got trapped on the wall there. Um, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot to worry about with this guy, just that he hits like a truck. Why is it all agitated now? Oh, come on! And now he is mad. Last words. It's not too difficult to actually dodge the attacks from. And my teammates are actually doing pretty well at not dying. I'm a little bit shocked at that. So I think perhaps the best course of action is to just do charge attacks. Try and build up my tech gauge. Aside from Angela, I don't really have many other options. <laughs> Probably should have gotten out of the way of that. One was on me. This should do it. Angela certainly got nailed by that. Nope. I'm stunned again. Just wail on him when he's stunned. This is it. Don't think so. It's almost done. Uh -oh. You know what? I'm not gonna risk it. I've got so many candies, they're so cheap. Too bad. And I wasted it, but it's fine.
Excellent. Angela got another level up. Right on time. Everyone doing all right? Woo! <laughs> so that's the legendary subterranean monster jewel eater. Well, I'll be. Oh, the tunnel entrance you know as Stone Split Gap, but we call Gem Valley. They say that Jewel Eater only surfaces in the valley once every 1,000 years. Oh, you all are lucky. Hmm, the first gnome goes missing, and now Jewel Eater appears. What in tarnation is going on? <laughs> well, my ears done started burning. <laughs> You're all right! Well, of course I'm all right. See? There I was, just taking a nap, minding my own business, when Jewel Eater done come out of nowhere and dug a burrow straight to my bed. If I hadn't woken up, I'd have been that monster's lunch. <laughs> Whew! Ooh, that ain't nothing to laugh about. Uh, Gnome? We need your help. Oh, if it ain't Barry! <laughs> Been too long, sister! <laughs> With the power of the elementals, we can open the portal to the Sanctuary of Mana. Please? Well... I ain't one to turn down a request from an upstanding lady like yourself. <laughs> Leave it to me, miss. Obtain powers from Earth Elemental Gnome. Now that you can access Gnome's powers, you can use Earth Elemental Magic by putting training points towards abilities from the training section of the menu. Here are some examples of Earth Magic, Stone Saber, Imbues Allies, Weapon with Earth Elemental Damage, Protection, Boosts Allies Defense, and Diamond Shards, Deals Earth Magic Damage. So let's actually go ahead and do that right now. Two points into stamina, and that'll give us diamond shards. So definitely, the next place we are going to put points is into luck. With two more, we'll be able to learn cyclone when we get the wind mana spirit. But we got some more points with Hawkeye and Kevin to spend as well, and. gonna be a tough decision here. I think I'm gonna go for that luck. As for Kevin, let's just go full defense. Well <laughs> I'll be you guys are friends with the great and powerful gnome. Uh, 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 you know, uh, I'm sorry for being so uh, rude earlier. <laughs> uh, here, uh, you can have the nitromite on the house. Oh, don't you worry about it. No charge. <laughs> Obtain Nitromite. Here! Uh, I'll send you right back to the entrance to Dwarf Tunnel with uh, this magic rope. <laughs> you all take care now. Oh, uh, give my regards to Gnome! Now we can head back to Von Boyage. Watch out for 
the enemy! Stronger than ever! Did he just get another level up? Jeez. Anyway, we won't be able to magic rope our way back over to the free city of Maya. We'll just have to hoof it. But it's not a long walk. Not at all. Got the nitromite! Remember, fuel, not food. Bon Voyage can send us to Valsana now. Let's go! Next. My potential feels limitless. I'll just uh, avoid the dirt path. Stick to the main road. Too bad. The zombies die really fast, man. We're definitely getting a lot stronger. Oh, wow, Angela got another level up already. You could never beat us. Why bother? Holy boat. I wonder if she knows to use the appropriate element on, ele on enemies. It would be interesting to find out. Look, enemy. Too bad. Be gone. Diamond star. All right. Oh, that was Kevin. Whoops. My bad, bro. I didn't mean to try to kill you there. It looks like you were a bad guy, though. alone it's kind of weird that I mistook him for a bad guy because I never mistook him for a bad guy in the SNES version where he actually looks identical to bad guy werewolves whereas here he's distinctive because he's got his clothes got the nitromite. Let's go talk to Von Boyage. Hmm? Who are you people? Uh, we're the people you sent to get nitromite? Wait, did you forget? Oh, right! I didn't forget. I just couldn't remember. <laughs> so, um, what's that nitromite for again? <laughs> I'm kidding. I remember now. It's for my revamped cannon, right? <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Head to the backyard and I'll meet you there. Once again, we meet the crazy old man in his backyard. I guess he's not that old, though. Isn't she a beauty? This is the revolutionary, ultra-fabulous turbo cannon number two! Wind shear? Check. Targeting? Check! Uh -huh. Locked on to Volsena? Ready?
Wait, this is definitely not Valsena. So, the cannon malfunctioned and now we're stuck in a weird... hole field? Maybe the only path to Valsena. Fine. But once we meet with the Hero King, I'm filing a complaint about this path. Fine. But once we meet with the Hero King, I'm filing a complaint about this path. Huh, that's weird that she repeated that. Alrighty. So here we are in the <laughs> Mulbear Hills. I believe that's what they're called. Mulbear Moors, sorry. You wish you'd never cross paths with us. And we have a lot of Mulbears to fight. Too bad. You wish. That stings. I hate to pick on such weak targets, but... Combat is definitely a lot more fun in this version than it was in the SNES version. But there's no waiting for my attack to be ready again. No freezing of the action. Oh my goodness, that is the worst. There's no input lag. Everything is just smooth. Like butter. I guess they uh, take the guesswork out of figuring out where to go here, though. Too bad. Of course, that was the last of them. Don't get too comfortable, though. Looks like I'm getting close to another level up already. Things are worth a lot of experience, considering how easy they are. They're really not a threat at all. Good training. I say as I can't even really see my health too well. Probably doing tons of damage to me, I'm just not noticing it. This is different. We actually have to go into the Mulbear tunnel. Hurry, let's move. That was not in the SNES version. I can tell you that for certain. Over here? Does not look like it. Oh well. Oh hey. Hey! Uh, you folks head into Valsena? Oh! You want an audience with the hero king? <laughs> well, I'm Duran. I'm a Valsenan soldier. It's a long story, but I was away on a mission when I heard rumors that the Magician Kingdom of Altena was planning to invade from the north. Just came back to report to the king. Sorry to leave, but I'm in a hurry. Valsainan soldiers are top-notch. Our enemies are magic users. Don't let anything happen to the king. I'm begging you. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Altena is attacking Valsena? This is crazy. Uh, now what do I do? Ready. Oh. I just fell down. Back where I came from. Good to know how easy it is to do that. 
Well, at least the enemies didn't respawn. Creepy-looking little statue. I don't have right. time More mole bears. Too bad. <laughs> Hurry, let's move. Hard to say which way is the correct way to go. I guess it must be this way because I'm not getting up there. Gotta get this nuisance out of the way before Where are these cool? I can barely see the name. Freelancer. Magic was not fun. Okay, those are a little bit dangerous. Hmm, I guess you get over there through the mole bear holes. Back here, B Lancer. That one was on me. Next, they should do it. I'm gonna need to buy candy soon. So glad it's really cheap. Alright, we've got a split path here, and I don't know which way I want to go. It actually looks like this path doesn't go anywhere. Always look behind you. We want to be full health for this battle. <laughs> that stings. <laughs> Thanks, no more enemies. Not until next time. I wonder if this goes to that island. Nope, this goes <laughs> where it just was. Good to know, at least. Does that mean this one goes to that island? This goes... I can only assume this is the, the way to make progress. <laughs> so that's not where I want to go yet. I should go check out these dead ends down here and make sure there's no items to be had. <laughs> you wish you'd never cross paths with us. <laughs> This area is very different than it was in the SNES version. Because you just, you didn't go inside the tunnels. You would drop in a hole and you would just find out where that hole led you to. I kind of like this a lot better than the old method, for sure. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. I know which way is the way forward. So now I need to go explore the other pathway. I'm tired. This is it. Don't think so. I can't.
This should do it. Didn't even realize she was low on health. Feel strength. We have down this way. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Definitely start with a guard up of some kind. Whoa, that was a lot of lucre. Glad I went down this way. Now this should take me to that island. Right? No? What the heck? Okay, there's only three holes here. Well, besides the ones I came out of. Alright, let's go back in here and take a look at the map. Hmm. Doesn't really help me too much. It does look like I can get to that other exit from here, so it doesn't really matter which one I take. Wait, there's still one alive? Really? Oh wow, she gained experience even though she was dead. That's nice. Ooh, I'm definitely running low on candy. to know that the attack is coming if you're going to dodge it. Or at least not being like maybe for a combo. That's where I came from. So where does this hole lead? Always check behind me. Wow, they died really fast. Okay, I don't need to go here. Aha! The island! This is what I was looking for. Rondo blade. Is that a weapon for Hawkeye? Ooh. Decent increase. Yes, please. Oh, you know what? Nah, never mind. I was gonna say, now that I'm above level 10, I could go ahead and equip that accessory. Because it does provide some stat boost, but nah, I gotta stick to my original commitment. Alright, what's down here? Just bats? I guess with that... Oh, wait! I passed an area I didn't explore. I see a hobgoblin. All of 
I got these battles first, they're so annoying when you keep fighting a group of enemy. Trouble, we get chocolate. Not the best reward I've ever gotten, but it'll do. Alright, to the right is where we came from, so let's go up the hole on the left. I figured that was where it would take me. These guys are definitely uh, eating away at my health. Oh, hey, I can go over to that ledge that I couldn't get up before. Every time I try to dodge, I'm busy with a combo. I can't dodge. After a win, take down the enemy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, there's a treasure up here. A couple wishes, those are always welcome. And I guess I'll start looking around this area. See if there's anything I'm missing. Fine then. Here I go. Oh, no. yeah. This should do it. Treasure over here. Nice. I'm starting to kind of figure out where treasures are usually hidden at. Always in the places that there's no reason to go to. Yeah, I guess we can uh, truck on forward. Good to know that KO'd party members still get experience if you win the battle. opening back up. No! Mulberry Moors ahead. Beware wild mulberries. I thought I was in the Mulberry Moors. Oh wait, that was the back of the sign. Okay. Now it makes a little more sense. Also, while we're fighting rabbits now. No need to stick around after a win. <laughs> okay, that must be Volsina. <laughs> so that is probably a direction that I don't want to go just yet. Yeah, 
we're gonna head up towards Malsina. Malsina, Kingdom of the Plains, and that actually leads to Stone Split Gap. So that should be a dead end then. So I'll go ahead and go that way. Because I want to see what's going on. <laughs> oh, good. We don't have to be on guard for now. Lots of rabbis down here. At least we're fighting easy enemies now. That was easy. Oh man, those rabbis just showed up out of nowhere. To protect the treasure. Of course you won. I'm fine with that. There are lots of different ways to go here. This is a dead end with a treasure, though. How's that? Hurry, let's move. It's definitely proving worthwhile to go down these pathways. Here's another treasure. More robots. Alright, I know that the bridge and stone split gap was destroyed, so this has eventually got to dead end somewhere. This area is so enormous. And with all these rabbits, it just kind of feels like maybe at one point during the development they had planned for uh, like different like true starting areas for the quest, or maybe they would meet up later rather than all the starting areas just basically being intros. I like can't really explore too much. It would have been interesting to see it that way, at least. Alright, it's night time. This is gotta be the stone Run! Too bad. Good care of that. I'm sure if I go in here, it's just gonna be a dead end. Maybe there'll be some treasure in here, though. Wouldn't that be nice? Thankfully, at least, it won't be difficult to get back to Valsena. It'll just be easy enemies like Rabbites. There's gotta be some good stuff over here since it's totally optional, right? Like, I'm absolutely positive that the game never makes you come here. Unless they added stuff in this version that does. Oh hey, speaking of, you found little cactus. That definitely would have been an easy one to miss. Find me two more times for a prize. 
All right. Magic rope. Lots of treasure over here. Item seed. And what have we here? A little bit of lucre, not much. All right, that was worth it for that diversion to get the little cactus. I'm glad I came down this way. Now we can actually go and head to Valsina proper. Nobody's dying to rabbits. That would be like the ultimate embarrassment, right? <laughs> hey, it's a little cactus again. You found a little cactus. Find me one more time for a prize. Well, I couldn't even see him from the other side there. <laughs> Gotta get this nuisance out of the way before we can go. He's definitely easy to miss. <laughs> I didn't know my own strength. Alright, I'm not gonna make it a point to fight every last enemy on my way back to Valsina. I think once doing that is enough, right? Oh good. We don't have to be on guard for now. I know what to do. But unfortunately I can't just walk past enemies unless I want to like stand at the edge of the arena to run away. Learning! Getting stronger! Oh, menace! Defeat it quickly and move! Of course! And the experience doesn't hurt. Of course! I feel like I'm a lot higher level than I was at this point in uh, the SNES version. I wonder how I missed that item before. Is there a treasure I missed too? Alright, alright. Come on now. Get up there. How did I miss this? I thought I came up here. Is that going to be difficult to walk across for no real reason? Mm, I think the answer is yes. Yes it is. Maybe I'll have better luck if I just try to jump across it. Yep, that was the ticket. All that for only 30 lucre? Really? Come on, game. We can do better than that.
These little flowers are throwing me off. I'm like, is that a little cactus? <laughs> I see like the little green and the red and whatnot. All right, here we are in Valsena. Of mages attacked. His Majesty is in danger. What? finally made it to the kingdom of Valsena, only to find it in shambles from the attacking Altanish forces. Well done. Release the magical creatures into the castle and fall back for now. Yes, sir! They took these guys out like they were nothing. The king could be in real danger. Let's hurry! It's not just Valsanian soldiers. There are mages from Altina here too. Is this what you wanted, Mother? Alright, we got a statue over here. We can go ahead and drop a save. But this is where we're going to end things off here. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so and smash that like button for me. It helps out the videos a lot. Love you guys and I'll see y'all next time when we rescue the king of Valsina. Peace!